Hey everybody, it's Jen. I hope this is going to work because it seemed a little wonky um, while I was trying to get it started on um, the recording. So hopefully this is going to come over clear. Um, that being said, today is January 20th, 2022. And um, <clears throat> I, I will do like an overview of what has been going on in the astrology, but my guides have literally been like not even worried about that. They're really having me focus on um, this energy that's coming in. And it does feel like what I had channeled earlier is that this year is particularly going to be about really tuning in to our um, self, guys, like our self-worth, our self, um, the, the reconciliation, like if I can put this into the, the most simple of words, because it's, it's so big and it's so profound, it's hard to get the words um, to even say that the impression of the energy that I'm feeling when I'm talking to my guides, right? So basically what they're saying is this year is going to be about the reconciliation within, okay? So this is like our soul really finally bridging the gap between understanding that we're spiritual and that our soul is integrated into our human so that we're, we understand on a deeper level that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. Now, I know that's something that's been said um, in the past. Um, and I know I'm not the only one that said that, but I remember a few years ago, my guides was talking with me about bridging the gap between spirituality and being human. And I know we've been working towards that over the last few years, but this is like a full on embodiment of our soul self within our human and, and reconciling that and bringing that into congruency. So everything that we've been working towards, like bringing our head and our heart into congruency and learning the things that we learned before, like all of this stuff that we've been working on the last few years is bringing us to this place to where in 2022, we can really bring it all together. Um, and this is where there's going to be a lot of restoration, meaning a lot of healing, meaning a lot of um, emotions being processed and actually let go of and um, healed. Uh, reconciliation, meaning reconciling that part of us so that we become whole. Um, so reconciling the human with the spiritual and bringing that all into congruency within. Um, and then also the recreation, because now we literally have almost like this, um, the new energy that we can create a life we love. And that might mean having to quote unquote, recreate something because the way we built it before wasn't completely in alignment with this new upgraded integrated us <clears throat> if that makes sense so there's so much big energy coming through um and I know I posted yesterday about the self-love symposium I would definitely encourage everybody to do that the one thing that popped in this morning um is that the the investment because I was like I I always channel everything you guys and the numbers to me always have significance like it's never about the dollar amount but it's always about the numbers and so when I when I got the information on the self love symposium and then they gave me the pricing um it's always about that integration of the the angel frequency to go along with it. So the investment is never about like what I'm charging for the course. And it's always about what are you investing within yourself? And so that number is really important. And what my guides dropped in this morning, and, and this is for the overall theme of the year. So that's why I'm sharing this is it's not about it. Like what they said is it's never about the money that you're investing. It's about what you're willing to invest for yourself, like what you're willing to do for yourself. How are you willing to love yourself? Right? So the vibration of the frequency of 333, I looked it up and of course it matches, right? So it's about this um, self-empowerment and really learning to love yourself. So then the next thing that I, I channeled this morning is that 2022 
is the year of self-transformation and, and they said reconciliation within. So again, I know we've been talking about restoration, recreation and reconciliation being the, the key themes and knowing that particularly that's within us, right? And so now what they're saying is during 2022, it, it really is going to be more, much more internal than what the last few years have been. Now, that being said, the nodes just shifted into Taurus and Scorpio. And because of the way they're set up, it's about letting go of all of the deep wounds of the past, right? So Scorpio, letting go of the deep um, and finding that transformation through Taurus, which is literally physically being on this, this planet and being at home here. So it's so profound. Like I'm even still trying to process the message that came through this morning. So um, we'll be talking about this. I, I can tell you, we will be talking about this more in depth and a lot, but what I would say to get you started, and I'm just getting chills when I said what I would say to get you started for the year. So what you can do now to start working with this energy and really set you up for um, getting the most out of the energy that is supporting us in 2022 is going to be, um, and you could take every single one of these bullet points, you guys, and make it a journal prompt, right? So, so however you process these, these messages, when they come through, like you can do it all at once, or if you want to take it one by one, like you could literally have a few weeks of self-growth just within this one, um, this one recording that I'm doing right now. So the key themes are learning to go within right? So how, how do you go within yourself to find answers, to find motivation, to find love, to find whatever, right? Learning to love ourselves, And this is learning to love ourselves in such a deeper, more profound way. And then again, understanding that the way that we love ourselves is literally the, the, what my guides are showing me is the amount of love that we can love ourselves is the only amount that we can give to others. And so even though we think we're loving other people well, if we're not loving ourselves well, we're limited on what we can actually offer as far as love to other people. And I've seen that within, with myself. And I, I actually spoke to that a little bit in the free challenge that I did earlier in the month. So um, it, it really is true. You guys, like the way we love ourselves is, is direct relation to how well we can, or how much we can love others. Okay. The next thing is learning that we really actually create our own reality. So that's going to be a big one for a lot of people, I think, because I think we've gotten that conceptually for a long time, but it's going to be more, um, manifesting more physically. Again, this was in that, the challenge, right? So really understanding that the idea of manifestations, right? The conceptual thing that we had before where it maybe looked like a mirage, now it's going to actually be physically in our reality. Um, the next thing is learning that it's okay for us to be exactly who we are, right? It's, it's okay for us to be exactly who we are. We are meant to be different than everybody else on the planet. We are meant to be ourselves. It, I mean, it, it, God tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, meaning that we are the only one of us and that he set us apart and he knows every hair in our head. Like we all know those verses, right? So like we are meant to be exactly us. So reconciling that feels like a big thing, like really understanding that you are an amazing creation and that you're meant to be exactly who you are. And when you can stop fighting against who you are and allow yourself to be who you are, it takes on a whole different experience and a whole different level of love. Again, coming back to self-love. Um, the next thing is learning that it's okay for us to want exactly what we want. Now, I can't remember where I was talking about this the other day, but I was, it might've been in the business mastermind where we were talking about, um, like what we want to create in our business and the goals that we have, and even like the money goals that we have. And I, I had referenced somebody that I had followed and I'm like, but you know, she created all this stuff, but honestly, I wouldn't want it. Like, I wouldn't want the life that she has. Like it's, that is not me. Um, and so what popped in my head this morning is like listening to a lot of the business coaches and, um, especially right now, because they're, because we're in Taurus, there's going to, I'm just going to throw this out there because we're in Taurus, there's going, the North node, right. Is now in Taurus. So the next couple of years, we're going to be feeling into Taurus is all about literally feeling 
at home on the planet, of feeling the luxuries that the planet has to offer. So this is like buying the fuzzy sweater that might cost a little bit more, but you know, it's going to last five times longer. Um, um, like I'm actually like my robe that I got for my birthday is so like plush and it feels so good. Um, and, and I just felt like I needed a new one. Like there wasn't really anything wrong with the other one, but I had had it for years and years and years. And it was like, I just needed something new and allowing yourself to have that. Right. Um, and, and maybe spending, like I did spend a little bit more because it just felt so good. Like I couldn't, once I touched it, I was like done. I'm like, oh my God, that feels so good. Like I have to have that. I didn't even look at the price tag. I was like, I just know that I have to have this. So that's going to be some tourist things is really looking at it from the value of, of what it feels like more than the price tag. Because again, um, one of the other things that that my guide said is that money's a direct reflection of what we invest in ourselves, right? So I invested in this robe, we'll use it as, a, as an example, because I use it every morning, right? It makes me feel comforted and um, taken care of every morning because it's so soft and plush, right? And it just makes me feel like I'm just being held every morning. So that's going to be more how Taurus, like the value of things versus the actual sticker price. Because I know in the past we've been so um, caught up in sticker price. Now, don't get me wrong, you guys. I am still all for a really good deal. Like I love sale racks. I'm not going to lie. But it depends on what you're looking for and the purpose, right? So if you know the intention of why you're looking for something um, versus how you're going to use it, right? So like, if it's just that you want to freshen up your wardrobe and you're kind of sick of some things, clean out some things and then by all means shop the sale racks because I love doing that. But also if it's something that you want to invest in because you know, it's going to affect you every day, look more towards the value of it instead of the sticker. I hope that's making sense. Um, so, so that being said, it's okay for us to be exactly who we are. And then it's okay for us to want exactly what we want. Um, Another analogy that kind of popped in my head this morning, because I was, as, as I work with my guides, when they give me these messages, I'm like, but how, like, how does this relate to me? So this is something I always want you guys to do as well. Whenever you're working with any of these messages, take what the guides are saying and take what I'm saying and then say, how does this relate to me? What does this mean to me? So I just had seen, um, Grant Cardone has been popping up in my feed, um, and, and he's the big like 10 X guy, right? Like, and he's, he's all about, like, he looks really flashy and he looks like it's all about the jets and all that kind of stuff. I mean, really he's, if you get down to the basis of his message, it's more about take whatever you want to manifest in 10 times that, because then that way, if you don't reach it, you still went further than you would have, if your goal wasn't bigger. Right. So he's, he's kind of like, his whole theme is like, shoot for the stars because or what is it shoot for the moon because even if you miss you land in the stars that's kind of like in a nutshell how I perceive him but what was funny is I was like he's all about like owning the jets and stuff and I'm like I don't want to own one I would rather charter one <laughs> so because I'm like in my mind I'm like that's a lot of things to have to keep up with and have to take care I'm like I would rather just charter one when I need it so again that goes into allowing yourself to want what you want, right? So it, it's not about comparing yourself to others. It's about being okay with what you want and what you desire in your life and that that's okay. It's totally okay for him to, to have the jets and do all that. He loves it. He thrives on it. That's great, right? And he's showing other people what's possible, but it's okay if you don't want that. Like it's okay if your goals are not that because I think sometimes we, we also diminish just wanting to be happy, right? We also diminish that maybe our goals aren't to be jet setting around. Maybe our goals are much more simple and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like that is, it's perfectly okay to be whatever it is. Now, if that's your goal and that's what you want, by all means go for that, right? So learning that it's okay for you to want exactly what you want and in the way you want it, I'm going to add, um, learning that it's okay for us to be different from everybody else. You guys, that's huge. Right. And then coming back to the message from my guides, it's money is a direct reflection of investing in yourself. So what they, what they're meaning when they say this is again, coming back to the idea of self-love, right? The, 
if you love yourself abundantly, abundance shows up in everything else. I'm telling you guys, like this is something I know for sure for myself. The more I've learned to love myself through the eyes of God, like for me, that was a key, right? For me, it wasn't about, it's, it's never about, um, and this is for everybody, not just for me, but it's never about like an ego driven self-love. It's never about looking good on Instagram. It's never about looking good to everybody else. It's never about keeping up with the Joneses. It's about truly learning what self-love means and what it means to love yourself well. When you love yourself well, when you love yourself abundantly, which is the word my guides used, when you love yourself abundantly, abundance will show up in every other area of your life. Okay. So again, this is a sacredness to this self-love. Okay. The sacredness is knowing that you are a spiritual being and you were created by God. You were created by the divine. Okay. Knowing in your heart, like knowing that, you know, that, you know, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Right. Um, and, and knowing, and this is something that I think we all struggle with, but knowing that you are loved beyond anything you can imagine, right? Like the words unconditional love. Oh man, I know I dropped off because now my recording just said recording and process. So I don't know where I dropped off at you guys. Oh, this is so infuriating. I always know when this is such an important message because it's almost like the frequency messes up the recording. So I don't know how much of that I dropped out on. Um, I'm going to just reiterate maybe the loving yourself beyond a shadow of a doubt. So again, just in case this is the part that dropped out, loving yourself beyond anything that you've ever been under, able to understand, knowing that this isn't an ego-driven self-love. This is a sacred self-love. This is knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are loved beyond anything that you can imagine. So again, what I was saying is the words unconditional love can't even do justice to the frequency and the vibration and the, the depth of how much you are loved by God. So the key is for us to then accept it, right? So that's where the work is, you guys. All right, sending you lots of love. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.